A small treasure arrived in the mailbox today. Ah, good afternoon, YouTube. It is uh, 5.59 now. It is one minute before 6. Um, actually, it was probably after 6 because that clock's a little slow, but that's okay. Uh, as you can see, this little package here uh, came in the mail today. This is the uh, global radio uh, that uh, Bill sent me. And I'm going to open it up on camera here. Bill put a line, he said, on the side that had less packing in it, or I guess less packing, or more packing in it, so the, you know, the uh, damage would be done to the radio by using the knife on it, I'm assuming. So we'll do that. And run down through here with the knife on both ends. And get that opened up. Maybe. Maybe not. Never can tell. Now this is not going to be a repair or anything like that video. This is just the uh, unboxing, whatever you want to call it, of the radio. And I want to make sure it arrived okay. And yeah, he's right about the uh, packing. He did put a lot of packing in there. So, that's good stuff. Good stuff indeed. There is the radio. And sometimes Bill includes a little note, but it doesn't look like he did with this one unless it's in here with the radio. Unless I missed it along, but I'm sure he'll, he'll point it out if I did. Let's see what we got here. Well packed. Well packed indeed. So there is the radio in the case, and uh, it's everything I thought it would be. <laughs> uh, so for you guys that uh, follow along, I I don't know if I mentioned it, I don't think I did, but I did not get the uh, uh, little white radio like this that I was bidding on. Uh, it went for over $30, and I think I, my, th my limit was $30, so this uh, is a nice little radio, and... Uh, Happy with that, and of course I've shown you the uh, schematic and the parts list for it already, and we'll uh, we'll be taking that apart. Well, I'm, I'm saying we'll be taking it apart here very shortly. In fact, I'm gonna take and pop the back off. Just take a look at it quickly. Now this one has the screen in it. I, I've seen some that have the screen here, and some that don't. And, uh, like I said, that's kind of neat. Uh, I'm not sure if Bill did this or if this was done uh, previously. I think it was done previously because uh, when Bill was showing it, I think it, uh, he didn't mention anything about that. So I think that was done previously. So this has a square uh, magnet speaker on it, and that attaches to the um, circuit board right here. As you can see, there's a screw right there. And uh, my red one's the same way. And as I said before, this piece, I don't know how it comes off. I think it's these screws here. We'll take this top piece off, I'm pretty sure. And that exposes the underneath side of that. And we'll take that off real quick, just to see if we can. If I'm right or wrong, I could be all wet about it. You never can tell. I wouldn't be the first time I was all wet about a lot of things. Uh, but I can't see any other reason for these screws being there if they aren't actually holding that piece on. So, got to be something to hold it on, I would think. It could be glued also, I don't know. And it doesn't seem to want to come apart. I'm not sure why. I'm not going to force anything. I'll take the uh, circuit board out first before I do anything else as far as I guess I can get better in camera as Bill says um, but I think that's uh, I'm pretty sure that's what that is like I said I can't think of anything else that would be uh, for it sure doesn't want to get whoop there it went Yeah, 
came apart, but then it didn't went right back together, it looks like. There it goes. I think there's a touch of glue there, too, which is fine. But, there you go. Oh, it looks like that broke the plastic pieces off. That's what it did. There you go. There's your little uh, dial string, Bill. You can see it right there. See how this one turns. This one seems to turn okay. It's a little bit stiff right there. But it does have a dial string, so that's that. Now that one, now there's what that looks like on that side. I'll, I'll be able to glue this one back on this side because it just popped it out, is all it did. So this piece here, this grill piece comes out also. There's just some tabs that hold that on. This one's a little bit loose anyway, so. There's off and on. So, like I say, we'll uh, we'll definitely, I, I don't know if I, did Bill even try this? I don't remember if he did or not. I can't remember. Seems like he did, but I don't think it worked at all. Uh, I don't think. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before many times. And I don't know if this is a good battery or not, but we can try it and see what happens. Without too much problem. We have audio. Not loud audio, but we do have audio. It's hard to hear. See if I can turn the... find a station. There is one there. Very hard to hear. Like I said, you barely can't hear it. But it is there. So, I'm pretty sure a recap will just do this one perfectly. And uh, that's really what I, what I wanted to see, and that's really all I wanted to see. So, uh, like I say, this is going to really do this for me. Uh, so, like I said, oops, yeah, that was just my phone. Uh, anyway, like I said, that's going to do this part of it. Uh, happy to get this and be able to. Uh, uh, yeah, these are not that hard to to un unsolder. Like I say, a little s good solder wick, and these will come come right apart. Uh, probably we'll get this one replaced first off the bat. Uh, find out what's supposed to be there, and go from there. So, like I said, it does work, and uh, that that usually means that a recap will probably bring it back to to life. Weak audio is a good sign of bad e caps. And uh, so that's what we got. Apparently, that's a good battery. So, like I say, that's gonna do me. It looks like uh, that's the screw for the battery for the uh, speaker. There's a screw up here. A screw there. I don't see any other ones. Of course, I'm not looking through the uh, uh, magnification lamp either. So, I probably shouldn't do this, but you know me. I wasn't planning on doing this, but, you know, with the uh, having a schematic and the uh, parts list, I think shouldn't be a problem at all to fix this. And uh, I hope to, I plan on doing this one first, and then I may have to tackle the red one. I've got to search in for the, uh, for another one of these to find, hopefully, with uh, that good top piece. Uh, I was hoping there's enough magnetism in that to get that out, but it don't look like there is. So there's that one. Got another one over here. My apologies if I'm not on camera that good because 
I'm I'm watching the radio and I'm not really paying attention to the uh, viewfinder a display, whatever you want to call it. So And like I said, the speaker I think is the only other one. I think that's all of them. I'm going to try to do this uh, work on camera if I can when I replace these cap capacitors in this. I may speed it up a little bit, but uh, I'd like to do them. Show the uh, way that the uh, solder wick works. Works pretty good. I I'm very happy with that Chem Chemtronics or Chem Chem Wick, whatever it's called. So that's all it takes. All it takes to hold that radio in is those. Let's see if there's anything I'm missing. Probably am. It looks come to me like that, uh, what do you call it, it's going to have to come out before I can take that out. See, now that's been out before. You can tell they put it on backwards. Uh, the uh, little screws for the, uh, to get the, uh, what do you call it, are upside down. I'll show you what I mean here in just a second. As you can see, there's your little slotted parts right there. It's facing down. It's supposed to face up. So that would be a problem. See if we can get this out of its hole. Maybe get this out further that way. It is a tight fit, that is for certain. There we go. There's one light down there. I think these are going to actually have to come off. Or at least one of them. Let's try taking the volume control off first. Uh, also, I got in the mail today my black um, 3M weather strip adhesive. So that's one step closer to getting that done. There you go. Now that'll let that come out. Let's get this back out of the way a little bit. Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. There you go. So there is that. There's those tabs I was talking about that holds the grill in right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. And those are there. Uh, that looks good. There's the back side again. There's our front side. There's a kneecap right there. There, it looks to me like this is a little bit uh, loose compared to... That must be a sub-assembly, I think. I'm guessing because it's it's loose on that. So that looks to me like that might be part of that uh, where that screw screws into. I'm thinking. So yeah, there's one on this side too. So those uh, plastic tabs fit into that. So I'll be able to glue that back to that. Use some uh, uh, what do you call it? Glue. The strong stuff. So that's what that looks like, Bill. I uh, thought I'd show you all that and uh, see what we're up against on it. That's going to do me for this time. Like I said, I got the uh, the black in the uh, mail today and I'm uh, waiting on the yellow to arrive. So that's about it for that. So I'm going to sign off here for now and I just wanted to show you that I did get the radio and <laughs> obviously we have it apart already. And That'll be fun to play with when we get to it. So until the next time, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we will see you.